You're watching WMAR 2 News. The rapid escalation of COVID-19 cases continues today in Maryland. Good afternoon, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. The rate of coronavirus tests coming back positive has now crossed back over 5%. It's been below 5 since February the 11th, but the rate is up another quarter of a percentage point today to 5.24%. Three weeks ago today, Governor Hogan announced that the statewide capacity restrictions on all businesses would be eliminated. On that day, the positivity rate was 3.56%, so today's rate is a nearly 53% increase over the rate three weeks ago today. Still, the state's top health official says people should not overreact to the continuing increase in the positivity rate. He says it is now mostly younger people testing positive for COVID-19. In a state Senate hearing, Senator Clarence Lamb, who represents parts of Baltimore County and Howard County and who is a medical doctor, challenged the acting health secretary, Dennis Schrader. The senator said the younger population can still get the older population sick and in previous spikes in the number of new cases, the number of deaths also increased a short time later. I'm concerned that deaths are a lagging indicator. So if we're potentially looking at a spike that we are in now, that it will be late and any action that would be taken um, would be late when it comes to the time that we see a rising number of deaths. On Monday, 13 more people in Maryland did die from the effects of COVID-19. 1,029 remain hospitalized with serious cases right now. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Hey there, everyone. We have a terrific Tuesday on tap. Lots of sunshine to go around and above normal temperatures. We're going to keep a lot of that sunshine around through the afternoon and even into early parts of the evening. A uh, temperature wise, we are going to be rising into the mid 60s as we head around three to four o'clock this afternoon. This evening still stays fairly mild. Again, keeping clear skies around as we head overnight. We'll start to see some of that high thin cloud cover build back in ahead of a cold front. That's going to bring some soaking rain. Minor flooding is possible heading into your Wednesday and our winds will pick up as well. Uh, that cold front on the back side of it, that's going to really knock our temperatures down later on this week. A mixture of rain, even some snow can't be possible, especially across higher terrain getting into your Thursday afternoon. Looking rather chilly into Friday, but mostly sunny skies and temperatures will rebound as we head into the upcoming weekend. If you don't like the weather in Maryland, wait five minutes. Stevie, thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news and weather on the go. You can always download the WMAR2 News app. It's in the App Store or follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.